Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and there is an update that has appeared today for those that are still on 1909. That is the November uh, 2019 update which is uh, going to uh, getting closer and closer actually to uh, being out of support which is going to happen in uh, the month of May. So um, 1909 is getting an update today, and we are, of course, uh, going to have a big and huge list of bug fixes. It's kind of interesting because I've been thinking about the fact that um, you know have you have so much updates, uh, and it's it's an old version of Windows, um, and there's still a lot of bug fixes in there, which is kind of interesting to see that there's they're fixing tons of things in older versions. So, you know, it makes you think of how many bugs and how many problems there is in there that they have to actually uh, fix over time. So, 18363.1474. 18363.1474.1474 is what you should have. And it fixes a lot of things. And I mean, the, the list of bug fixing is great. Um, it actually fixes things from the browsers to uh, all sorts of um, issues with uh, the uh, Microsoft Windows uh, USB 3 hubs and stuff like that that might be broken. Um, PowerShell has a problem in there. There's issues with... Um, all sorts of, you know, I mean, it, it's 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 just amazingly big, the amount of problems that uh, they fix in here. Like every version of bug fixes, there's a lot, a lot of fixes. It's interesting, though, to, to specify and be more clear that a majority of the problems fixed are not consumer level, but more business level in the way that they actually handle the Windows operating system. So on the consumer side, it, there's like less of a an urgency. Anyways, 1909 is getting this uh, update. It's a optional update once again because this is not a uh, security fix. So if you don't have any problems, you're on 1909. Just stay there, and it doesn't matter. And um, if you're of course on 1909 because of the HD connects and audio thing. Um, I really, truly suggest that you go to your manufacturer's website. Uh, I've seen a lot of posts today when I posted my uh, comment on that of people on Dell and HP uh, computers actually going on their manufacturer's website. So going to HP.com or Dell.com, searching for their own model number and finding that on the manufacturer's site, there are some updates that actually might make you go forward. Um, I think that's the key to winning this uh, Connexon HD audio problem. But no, it doesn't fix that. And there's no fix for that with this uh, fix. So don't install this thinking, well, it fixes my Connexon audio problem. No, it's not. It's not in there. There's nothing in there for that. So uh, bug fixes, but if you have no problems, just leave it alone. You know, why? Um, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, which we always say. Uh, just leave it alone, and uh, there's nothing security in there, so it doesn't matter that much. But if you have some issues, uh, maybe uh, something's going to be fixed for you in that uh, huge list of bug fixes for 1909. Nothing for 2004, nothing for 20H2, so if you are in the May or October 2020 update, there's no updates right now, so don't go looking for updates. Uh, it's not for you guys, it's for the older version 1909 and for enterprise that are still supported 1809 also if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us a thumbs up thank you for watching